Just imagine that you have your own NFT marketplace and you are allowing user to create NFT and in return you are charging commission. But when the user will create their NFT in your marketplace, that particular NFT can be fined in all the other marketplace as well. So this is the project we have built on our course where we have built a complete NFT marketplace and all the NFT we have created in this particular project, that's all I can find in OpenSea. So this is my OpenSea account. Currently, I'm connected with the test network because that's where we have deployed our contract and we have created all the NFT. So here I'm into my account and you can see all the transaction I have done. So I have created different pools, different liquidity. That's all I have. But if I take you down below here, you will find that I can able to find my NFT. So you can see this is the NFT which I have created. If you want to see, you can simply click here and you will come back here and here you can able to find all the details which you have provided in the NFT marketplace. If you want to see the contract which we have deployed under which we have this particular NFT, you can simply come back here and this is the name of our contract we have given in the course. So you can simply click here and it will take you right up here and there you will find all the details about the NFT which you have created in this particular contract. So this is the name of the contract and here I have created close to eight NFT and that's all I can find. So this is the audio NFT we have created in the marketplace and here we have the video NFT. So we are dealing with all type of NFT like audio video and images that's all you can able to find so you can simply come back to this particular test nets.openc and then you will find all the nft which you have created so simply copy the account address simply click on a metamask and pick the address which you have used for creating the nft and paste right up here and you will find all the transactions which you have done on that particular test network or any other test network that's all details you will find so this is how you can find the nft which you will create and the reason why we are getting this particular nft because we have used erc 721 which is the interface of the nft so if you have that model in your smart contract you can easily able to fetch all the nft which you have created in all the different marketplace so I hope you guys have followed this particular project. Make sure to follow this. You will understand every single thing that what exactly we have covered. We have built one of the biggest project which you go to build ever in any course or in any Web3 tutorial. So you can see you go to master complete salty programming language where you will learn every single thing about the salty that what is salty, how you can install it, what are the variables type, what are the data type, how you can write multiple function, memory, struct, tons of things we have. So check all this module. You're going to learn about one of the best Web3 ecosystem where you're going to set up all the necessary tools and requirement for building any web3 project here we have all the section all the topics we're going to cover all the different contracts we're going to include and build in our smart contract like we're going to have community we're going to have audio images we have a video bidding system tons of things we have you're also going to master a couple of technologies like HTML, CSS, React, Telwin, Hardhat, Metamask provider. So that's how you can find your NFT. So make sure to come back here in OpenSea. Simply type testnet.openc.io. Simply paste your address. Then you will find all the details about your account, all the transaction which you have done, all the token, all the NFT which you have created. That's all you will find here. So you can see I got all of that. So this is the name I have given of my contract and that's what I can find it. So that's how you can explode your NFT which you have created in Marketplace. I hope this information is helpful for you. If you haven't checked the course, make sure to check that. Try to understand the modules we have. Try to use these tools because these are very important things. When you're going to write your contract, when you're going to do the testing, you have to test that everything is working fine in a smart contract. The reason why I'm making this video to let you know that the contract we have designed is compatible with the ERC 721, which is which is for NFT. So you have to design your contract in such a way it could be acceptable in other marketplace as well. So that's the motive for me to let you know that you should always do your research when you are writing your smart contract. Try to check the marketplace that what is their condition? What are the parameters they're going to fetch? We can provide more details about our NFT, which is compatible with the specific marketplace or you can make it a dedicated one. It's totally up to you because when it's come to storing the data in the contract, in the IPFS, it's come down to you that what data you want to provide and store in the contract. So you should can do and design your own own contract so i would suggest you that give your time try to understand different marketplace how it's execute their transaction how they're functioning then you can start building your project this is what i do generally as a blockchain developer when i write any smart contract for any project i do my research which is the most important part for me when it's come to development any contract i spend my 60 percent of time in researching and only 30 percent to 40 percent in development so make sure to take this approach it will help you to understand that what is good what is bad and how you can design your smart contract in more secure way so i hope this information is helpful for you and if you have any question in doubt let me know in the comment section and you can check that particular course which i have that will give you a better understanding that how things come together in a decentralized ecosystem so with that i'm ending this have a wonderful day bye, -bye.